Welcome back to yet another session of electronics by Focal. Uh, and this time it's for class 11. Uh, so we were doing chapter amplifiers uh, for class 11, which is the fourth chapter from your electronics paper two. Okay. So we had already come across uh, kya hota hai amplifiers, what are amplifiers, Mat what, what is the need for amplification, um, what uh, the power of the signal is increased by amplification. All this we have discussed in the previous parts of amplifiers. Please check the playlist class 11 and there you will find uh, amplifiers part 1, amplifiers part 2 and today we are going to do amplifiers part 3. Okay, so in the previous parts, I've already explained what uh, amplification means what that means increasing the power of the signal in which areas do we require that etc etc. Okay, and um, amplifier ka basic component kya basic component means a transistor. Transistor is a basic component that just jo power increase karta hai, which provides um, uh, which you know increases the power of the signal that basic component is a transistor. So transistor, we have to give it some signal to behave, to make it behave like an amplifier. So there are many techniques to bias. Bias means to give it, um, to attack, to give it energy. Okay. That means simple, agar simple um, statement, we power supply, power, uh, usko hum power supply, we have power supply, we have to connect kar rahe, okay, to, uh, to, to the supply. Uh, so that is known as bias okay so biasing can be done in various techniques just ke kuch techniques have already part one and part two uh, sorry part two mein kiya hai part one mein simple concept of amplification hai. part two mein we have started with types of biasing we have finished fixed bias collector to base bias and um, collect and fixed bias with emitter resistor is deleted from your portion. So today what we are going to see is voltage divider bias. Okay. This is the simple voltage divider bias. Now voltage divider, this word is not, um, yeah, this is not something new to you, I think, because um, we have already seen this or we have already uh, um, done a lot of uh, things with this voltage divider stuff. Voltage divider, as the name suggest, suggests, it is, a, it is an arrangement of resistors where the voltage is getting divided. Simple si baat hai. Okay. That means agar koi ek source hai, thik hai, ek source hai, suppose VCC. ठीक है और वो स्ट्रिंग में मैंने बहुत सारे मैंने रेजिस्टेंसेस का कनेक्ट किया है ठीक है ग्राउंड लेकिन मैं बीच में से दूसरे सर्किट को कनेक्ट कर रही हूं बीच में से यू नो आई एम कनेक्टिंग इट टू डिफरेंट अदर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द सर्किट दैट मींस यहां पे ब्रेक कर रहे हो यहां पे ड्रॉप होने वाला है ये रेजिस्टेंस के अक्रॉस ड्रॉप होने वाला है ये रेजिस्टेंस के अक्रॉस ड्रॉप होने वाला है राइट लेकिन मुझे ये पॉइंट का अगर रेजिस्टेंस चाहिए जहां से मेरा मैंने कनेक्शन लिया है सर्किट को दूसरी जगह जॉइन करने के लिए मुझे ये पॉइंट का मुझे अगर वोल्टेज चाहिए देन वी यूज अ वोल्टेज डिवाइडर रूल ओके एंड व्हाई इज इट नोन एज अ वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बिकॉज़ द वोल्टेज ऑफ दैट दैट मेन सोर्स वोल्टेज वीसीसी वो ये पूरे स्ट्रिंग में डिवाइड हो रहा है Right? That is why it is known as a voltage divider. Okay? Fine. Now, what uh, voltage divider, kaise hum rule find karte hain? Agar mujhe voltage, for example, iske across find karna hai, niche wala resistance. To jiske across aapko resistance find karna hai, for example, ye ho gaya R2 or ye ho gaya R1. So, voltage divider rule is R2 upon wo string mein kitne, or, kitne resistances hai, the total of those resistance. That means R1 plus R2 into the total sub, the total um, main source voltage in that string, that is VCC. I So I think I'm going to erase this and I'm going to write it over here into VCC. This is a voltage divider rule. Okay, and now why is, um, why is this particular section known as voltage divider bias? Because we have connected a voltage divider section, okay, in this particular circuit. 
fine so let us see what um, is the uh, voltage divider um, uh, circuit now this is uh, you know mostly widely used in linear circuits that means jaise input badega waise output badega linear theek hai now it is um, as you can see r1 r2 maine bata diya aapko yahan pe voltage divider ek circuit use kiya that is why it is known as a voltage um, uh, divider biasing circuit theek hai now in this case Now in this case, uh, ऐसे देख के कैसे पता चलता है कि ये वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बायस है सबसे पहले आपको ये दो रेजिस्टेंस आर वन आर टू अगर ऐसे इस अरेन्जमेंट में दिखाई दिया दैट मीन्स इफ यू सी आर वन एंड आर टू इन सच अ वोल्टेज डिवाइडिंग कंडीशन देन यू नो दे कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन सर्किट डायग्राम देल गिव यू दर्किट डायग्राम एंड देल टेल यू आइडेंटिफाई विच टाइप ऑफ बायस सो इफ यू फाइंड आर वन एंड आर टू इन सच अ कंडीशन देन इट इज अ वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बायस ओके फाइन now um secondly r1 and r2 are selected in such a way that the beta okay of the transistor is the beta is independent matlab uh, it, this is one of the advantages of voltage divider bias that aap uh, even if i change the transistor maine transistor ko change kiya to bhi isko ye divider ye jo circuit hai iske output mein khas farak nahi padega because it is independent of beta factor ओके क्यू कलेक्टर टू बेस सर्किट में वगैरह बीटा आता है फॉर्मूला में तो मैं ट्रांजिस्टर चेंज करूंगी तो प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है यहाँ पे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा फाइन सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट द एडवांटेजेस ना सर्किट रिकग्निशन आई टोल्ड यू वोल्टेज डिवाइडर जैसे ही दिखेगा आप सर्किट को रिकोगनाइज कर सकते हो राइट वॉट इज द एडवांटेज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू द क्यू पॉइंट इज स्टेबल ओके बिकॉज इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ बीटा आपको वो समझ में आएगा जैसे हम यू नो एज एंड वेन वी वी डिराइव द फॉर्मूला यूल अंडरस्टैंड दैट द फाइनल फॉर्मूला डज नॉट कंटेन बीटा सो इट्स इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ऑल दैट फाइन एंड इट इज यूज इन लीनियर एम्पलीफायर्स एंड दिस इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्यूलर बाइसिंग सर्किट ओके सो लेट इज गेट टू द कैलकुलेशन दिस इज वोल्टेज डिवाइडर सेक्शन now if you can see this uh now let us uh, find out certain formula related to this voltage divider bias now please keep one thing in mind whichever type of bias okay now voltage divider bias is also known as self bias method okay in your exam uh, any type of bias can be asked okay so what you need to do is i have told this in part 2 also uh draw the circuit diagram explain it why it is known as that particular name and then go ahead with its formulae okay start solving it let us track the formulae of this particular circuit diagram like i said any circuit first you will draw the circuit you will explain why it is known as that particular name and then you will go on to uh, find the Uh, voltages either vce or vbe and uh, make sure you make a tabular format and just list uh, you should remember all the formula of all the circuits okay that is uh, most important let us go ahead with this now since i have already told you that this is the voltage divider bias i want um we will be concentrating on vb that is somewhere the voltage near the base okay so that means i will be i want the voltage across r2 fine and i have already explained in the beginning of this video how to find the voltage across a particular resistor in the voltage divider bias okay so um moving on let us find the voltage across this particular resistor r2 to maine kya bola hai kaise find out karna hai voltage across that particular resistance that is voltage across r2 is equal to kya hoga jiske across find karna which is the resistance across which we have to find that is r2 upon total how many resistances do we have in this in this entire loop we have two resistances so the sum or the addition of those two resistance r1 plus r2 into what is the total the source voltage you are getting over here that is vcc so into vcc this is exactly what is written over here 
Okay, same thing I have written over here. Now there is another another way of finding uh, VB or uh, yeah, uh, voltage across R2. You can also find it, that is, that it is the addition of two, see, VBE plus voltage across this, that is IERE. Okay, that can also be VB. So it is VBE, VBE matlab kya voltage across base and emitter. So, ye jo VB hai, VB matlab ye voltage across this R2 is equal to VBE plus IERE. Okay, using that, main VBE ko is taraf la rahi hu, to wo, uh, I'm, I'm just rearranging um, the, uh, the equations. If I bring only VB here and VBE to the other side, ye pure negative mein chala jayega. Thik hai? I will just write it down. That is minus VBE is equal to minus VB plus IERE. ठीक है तो मुझे ये माइनस ये माइनस में नहीं चाहिए मुझे सो आई विल मल्टीप्लाई बोथ द साइड्स बाय माइनस 1 एंड देन आई विल गेट VB is equal to VB minus IERE सो दिस इज द फाइनल फार्मूला व्हिच यू नीड टू रिमेंबर ओके नाउ देयर इज वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग व्हेन व्हाइल वी आर वर्किंग विद सर्किट्स द टेंपरेचर माइट इंक्रीज Okay, in this case also the same thing happens. The temperature may increase and as the temperature increases, this IC increases. Okay, IC increases. So, humko kya hona, humko kya, what, what is the need is that whenever temperature is increasing, uh, your system must be stable. Okay, that means one current is increasing which is causing the other current to increase. Aisa nahi hona chahiye. In this case, as temperature increases, IC increases. Okay, so obviously um, IC is equal to IE, that is equal to sign up, okay, IC is equal to IE, so therefore IE also increases, fine, but yaha pe stability dekho kahan pe hota, ye dono increase ho jayenge, kyunki uh, IC increases as the temperature increases and therefore um, emitter current also increases, but as this emitter current increases, yaha ka jo voltage hai, VBE, voltage across base to uh, uh, an emitter, this voltage decreases, okay, ye voltage decrease hota hai, aur ye voltage decrease honne se, wa ka se, as you can see there is a connection, this is base to emitter um, uh, voltage, because this the voltage decreases, IC decreases, that is how the entire system is stabilized, kudhi stability dhoong leta hai, I repeat, when the temperature increases, yes, of electron flow, hai, right? This, this current flow and everything is flow of electrons. What is ele electric current? It is flow of electrons. And as, as uh, the electrons, the speed collision happens, heat increases, temperature increases. As temperature increases, IC increases. IC increases, IC is equal to IE, therefore IE also increases. But VBE decreases. और VBE डिक्रीज हो रहा है वो जंक्शन वो जंक्शन का वोल्टेज कम हो रहा है इसीलिए इधर भी वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इधर भी करंट अफेक्ट होगा एंड IC डिक्रीजेस बिकॉज़ IC डिक्रीजेस IE द एंटायर सिस्टम इज स्टेबलाइज्ड ओके फाइन सो दिस इज द कनेक्शन बिटवीन द होल दिस इज हाउ इट रिमेंस स्टेबल ओके नाउ वट एवर वी डिड विथ वीबीई वीबीई जो हमने देखा वी सो यूजिंग इन दिस लूप ओके नाउ लेट एस फाइंड आउट द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इन दिस लूप ओके द राइट हैंड साइड सेक्शन सो आई कैन इजिली राइट द कलेक्टर वी सी इज इक्वल टू वी सी सी नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट आई कैन जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इट जस्ट अ मिनट now i'm using something known as kvl in this particular loop okay so the source is vcc is equal to addition of all the other voltages so somewhere over here i'm putting it as vc okay so this is vc plus vc plus icrc okay fine voltages Fine. So now um, I, I I want VC. So I'll take VC to one side 
it will be VC is equal to VCC minus ICRC. I am taking my ICRC to the other side. Okay. So this, um, this formula you have to remember. Okay. And I can then later on replace RC by RC plus RE. Okay. I can also replace that. ठीक है क्योंकि I C और I E वैसे भी equal ही हैं ठीक है इसीलिए ठीक है so I can do this so these uh, formula I want I want it would be really nice if you tabulate take up uh, this thing and tabulate take your pens uh, book or any rough book just tabulate first column use fixed bias second column collected to base bias third column voltage divider bias and then just write the final equations. That would be really helpful. Fine. Now, if you observe, manager pehle bola tha, in any of these uh, slides or videos, uh, in any of these equations, you are not saying beta. That means this uh, particular bias method is independent of beta. Okay. So even if the transistor is replaced by another transistor, having a different beta, the operating point does not get affected. Fine. Now, uh, an AC feedback is provided through RE, which reduces the voltage gain of this particular setup. Okay. Now, in the next point, the next thing, uh, if, you know, um, I have a dual power supply, now, is cheese me, uh, if you can see, there is only, only VCC present over here, right? Only VCC is present. Now, what if there is a split supply or a dual supply? Okay. If there is a dual power supply, that means plus minus, plus 15 minus 15, um, plus 12 minus 12, is there a plus VCC minus VCC? Okay. This is a same. This is a, here we have only plus VCC. Fine. What if there is a dual power supply? What can, what, uh, connect hoga, kaise connect hoga? let us see. And that particular method is known as the voltage divider bias with emitter bias. Okay, emitter bias or with the capacitor CE. Now, this can be uh, used, as I said, only if there are two, um, uh, two supplies, that is dual supplies, that is v plus VCC and minus VEE. Okay. How can we connect it? Simple. Uh, VCC, the, uh, the positive, that is the VCC. The, it reverse biases the collector junction. Okay, it reverse biases the collector junction. And VEE is used to forward bias the emitter junction. So how can you connect it? I can ju I, I'll just draw it and show it to you. This is my NPN transistor. I can simply connect plus VCC over here. Okay, so through through a resistance, obviously, I'll be connecting here. And through a resistance RE, I can connect my negative supply. VEE, -E. as simple as that. And the rest remains the same. Uh, the base, uh, the uh, it is RB over here. Everything else remains the same. Okay. Now, if you can see this, what I have drawn, there are only three resistances involved, right? RC over here, RB, that is the base resistance over here, and the emitter, uh, the resistance to the emitter. Fine, so only three resistances are used here. Uh, this is the um, advanced version of the circuit. This is a basic circuit, which I have drawn as a basic circuit, okay? Now, if RB is very, very small, if it's uh, RB, if the value of RB is small enough, then the base voltage is approximately zero. Why? As you know that V is equal to IR. If R itself is zero, then the base, uh, the voltage, the base voltage will automatically be zero. Okay. And uh, the emitter voltage is less by VBE than this. Now let us try to find um, the emitter current here. Let us try to find the emitter current. Fine. So for finding the emitter current, now let us quickly find out, uh, try to find out the formula for IE, okay? So I am going to now 
um, use the voltage rule. I'll just take a different color. Okay, we are going to use KVL in this particular loop. We are going to use the voltage law in this particular loop. And let us try to find out what is, um, uh, what is IP. So in this loop, which is the source, I am not going by the polarity, I'm taking VEE. So VEE is equal to, there is some voltage drop here. So that is VBE. And plus there is some voltage drop across this also, all right? So what, which is the loop I'm taking? This is the loop I'm taking, this particular loop, okay? So it is VEE is equal to ERE -E plus VBE, okay? That is the loop I'm taking. Upar se niche aate vak bhi hum vaisi lete te, vaisi niche se upar, okay? So VEE, kaha pe voltage drop hai, yaha pe voltage drop hai, so that is IERE. -E. Plus, here voltage drop is uh, base to emitter, so that is VBE. Fine. So, I have written it uh, right here. VEE is equal to VBE v, 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 plus IERE. Now, I take IERE to the other side and find out IE. I get this formula VEE minus VBE upon RE. Okay. So, um, make sure uh, you uh, uh, remember this formula. Same merits um, like the previous voltage bit divider rule also. It provides good stability. There is no beta involved here. So it does. it is um, independent of beta factor. So that is also a very good point. Fine. Now you might be wondering why is this CE connected over here? Now the CE is connected in parallel because it um, the capacitor offers very low impedance to AC, right? And the, uh, the emitter is placed at, uh, you know, because for feedback and all, the capacitor is connected in parallel to yes, RE because it uh, easily allows um, AC, very low impedance it will offer. So uh, it, it is very important for getting good optimized output uh, that uh, we have this capacitor here. Okay. So uh, that was about voltage divider bias with the um, with the capacitor or with dual, dual uh, power supply, we can use this particular uh, diagram, okay? Now, here we end all the types of bias, but numericals can be asked. Numericals are based on different types of bias can be asked. I have taken one such numeric problem, the problem statement. One such numerical I have taken, any such numericals can be asked. Uh, as I said before, you have to remember the final formula and the amount of detail I have told you, the amount of explanation I have given you, it will go. You draw the circuit diagram, you explain it, how it, um, why is it known as that particular, uh, you know, um, bias. Its name is like collector to base bias, for example. So why is it called collector to base? Why is it called collector to base? Because there is a resistance between uh, which is connected between the collector and bias uh, base right one resistance is brought between collector to bias this is called the collector to base bias the so, voice explain kijiye explain the setup and then uh, you start deriving the expressions okay so this is all what is expected from you and simple you have to use kvl that is kircher's voltage law when I bataya, source is equal to source voltage is equal to baki sub uh, voltage drops if collector to base biasing is used and RC, that is collector um, resistance is 800 ohms, VCC is 9 volt, RB is 600 ohms, beta is 90. Find IE and VCE. Okay. So first and foremost, collector to uh, base biasing bola gaya hai, to aapko uska formula, uh, you should be knowing the formula related to it. Okay. Now, as you know that this is the collector to base biasing. So we should know all the formulae related to the collector to base biasing. Okay. In this case, I have already noted down the formula that is needed. Now, uh, to start with, we need IE. Okay. IE ka to koi formula hai nahi agar aap collector to base biasing ka dekhenge to. But I have something related to IB. 
ओके आईबी का फॉर्मूला हमने डिराइव किया था ओके नो प्रॉब्लम वॉट एवर वी हैव वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट ओके आईबी इज वी सी सी अपॉन आर बी प्लस बीटा इन टू आर सी सो वी विल सब्सिट्यूट ऑल द वैल्यूज दैट इज दैट इज वी सी सी इज नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय आर बी इज सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड राइट के प्लस बीटा बीटा इज नाइंटी इंटू हंड्रेड दैट इज आर सी आर सी इज हंड्रेड ओम्स सो इंटू हंड्रेड ओम्स ओके सो दिस आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन इट कम्स आउट अराउंड थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन आई हैव डन द कैलकुलेशन ऑलरेडी थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन इंटू टेन रेज टू Minus six amperes. It is current IV. Therefore, it is measured in currents. So this ten raised to minus six can be replaced by what is ten raised to minus six known as? It is known as micro micro ampere. Okay, but IB or IE ka kuch connection hai directly to nahi hai. right but uh, in this all these cases ic is all, always equal to ie humko kya chahiye we need ie but we know that ie is equal to ic okay ie is equal to ic so if i find out ic uh, the same value uh, will uh, ie will have the same value so ic is there any connection between ic and ib yes in chapter study of transistors we have derived what is beta we have derived what is beta beta is the current amplification factor yes so beta is ic upon ib we have derived this already okay already this is derived so using this i can easily find out what is ic because i know ib i have i uh, beta factor beta also so i can easily find out ic okay so ic will be taking ib to the other side uh, it will be ic is equal to beta into ib so just simple uh, substitution beta is 90 that is given into ib i have just now found out that ib is 13.39 micro okay before i move on to the calculation uh, the, to save time i am not writing in steps but i request all of you students to please write in steps that is the first point will be given you have to jot down all the given points second point is to find what is to be found out in the problem so you will write to find is equal to ie comma vce third point will be solution and then you will start solving i have two problems here number one space number two time number three the writing problem okay so that the clarity will uh, i'll reduce the uh, the clarity will go down that is why i have no, i'm not writing in that pattern fine so after doing this multiplication what i get as um i see is 1.12 please do it yourself kids 1.21 milli ampere milli milli means 10 raised to minus 3 this is the answer i am getting okay so this will automatically be equal to ie in brackets you will write because i c is equal to ie okay you will write this and close the bracket fine so we are sorted with this this is done next is what we want is vce we have already derived a formula for vce for collector to base biasing and it is vce is equal to vcc minus icrc okay aapko wo you just have to note down the source is equal to all the other voltage drops to yahan pe source kya tha vcc vcc is equal to vce plus icrc tha major first wala for, uh, formula bas maine usko rearrange kiya hai आईसीआर से क्या है वो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप है फाइन सो जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट एंड यू विल गेट दी आंसर एज ऑल द वैल्यूज आर देर यू विल गेट दी आंसर एज एट पॉइंट जीरो थ्री टू वोल्ट ओके नाउ टू मेक दिस क्लियर आई विल 
um uh, show you. after all this you have to draw the diagram also diagram consists ma uh, contains marks if you don't draw the diagram you uh, will be losing on some uh, marks okay so this is the diagram which is uh, after you find out all the components you have to draw the diagram along with the value see ye dekho yahan se bhi aap connect kar sakte ho formula aap formula connect kar sakte ho ye jo source hai na you just keep tracing where all there is voltage drop source is equal to all the voltage drops so vcc is equal to yahan pe ek voltage drop hoga resistance ke across volt v is equal to ir to aap icrc icrc plus yahan pe ek voltage drop hoga junction hai yahan pe hai na so that is vce so vcc is equal to icrc plus vce so you need not even actually remember the formula you just remember the circuit diagram you can easily fo follow the um, formula okay now you have to uh, write all the values here please do not leave any circuit diagram without in the numericals i mean to say the without putting the values okay what is the beta of the transistor beta is 90 so you have to mention all these values while drawing the diagram the circuit diagram it means that you have designed this hai na rb is equal to 600k okay so it is 600 kilo ohm so here we have designed the collector to base biasing and in this way you can any any type of biasing can be used okay any doubts please feel free to ask and that's it for today have a great day ahead